So in today's video, I'm gonna give three tips to purchasing new construction in Dallas, Texas, so you don't have to make a lot of these mistakes or ask the questions that pop up all the time for the clients that I have. My name is Michael Carraway. I'm a realtor here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. And on this channel, we talk about what it's like to live in the Dallas, Texas Metro, as well as some of the best places to live. So you can find out once and for all, if Dallas is a good fit for you. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any tips and tricks to living in Dallas, Texas. So my first tip is to always assume that the price of the new construction home is going to be more than advertised. If you look at any marketing material or any signs for builders, you're gonna see wording like, you know, starting at $500,000. And when you see something like that, you can always assume that the price is going to be more. There's a lot of additional expenses that go into building a house, such as lot premiums or doing design upgrades or potentially uh, differing the floor plan than what's typical or standard. So you just have to be prepared to spend more than what's advertised, which generally means to look a little bit below your budget as far as what's advertised. And that way you can add some of those things that you're gonna likely want in a house and still be within budget. The second tip is to make sure to leverage a realtor to make sure that you're looking at all the opportunities out there. New construction communities are really hard to find, honestly. There's really not any one singular database where every single new construction property exists. But if you work with a realtor, you tell them what kind of community you're looking for, they're gonna be able to leverage their local knowledge to be able to point to you to a few specific new construction communities that are likely gonna be a good fit for you. It's also gonna be helpful to work with a realtor because a lot of these new construction companies act like they're your friend and that they're on your side, but in reality, they're representing the builder, they're not representing you. And so if you go in without a realtor, you're gonna be kind of on your own and gonna to have to trust the builder that's not representing you. And so I highly recommend right from the get-go that you start signing in with a realtor, that you put your realtor's name down so they can represent you throughout the entire transaction. My third tip is to think objectively when it comes to your home purchase. Listen, it's really easy to fall in love with a house in a community after stepping into a model home because you see everything is so perfect and the builders reps do an amazing job at really selling the community. But it's important to take a step back and make sure that you're actually looking through an objective lens, making sure that the community is right for you, making sure that the house that they're selling is right for you and that ultimately you're going to be happy there. And a real estate agent can make sure that you're thinking objectively through all of these points in the process. So if you're thinking about buying new construction in Dallas, Texas, make sure to reach out to me and I'm happy to help guide you and point you to the right communities and talk through the process as a whole. No matter where you're on the process, reach out, shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email anytime. Seriously, I'm here to help you find the perfect place to call home here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. Until next time, I'll see you later.